Saya sangat senang dan bersyukur bisa berbagi pagi ini da, dengan alumnas. Um, I see such a, a distinguished group of founders and um, board members and alumni, uh, Bapa Menteri Bojonegoro, Bapa Menteri uh, Yasona Lauli, uh, Bapa Menteri uh, Sandojo, um, and juga our co-founders, pa, uh, John Jimmy Gani, uh, Ambassador John Prosetio, uh, Ibu Noni Bonomo, pa Hassan Sujo, uh, by John Riadi, Papristi, Lucilisto. I'm really delighted to be with you here today, even if it's virtual. Um, I bring the greetings of Ambassador Kim, who is still in Washington. Um, he's, he's traveling this week um, and is, is still in his duties in Washington, but very much looking forward to coming back to Indonesia soon to take up um, his, his work as uh, ambassador. He's been very busy uh, supporting the transition to the new administration, but very eager to come back to Indonesia. And um, I know he's been uh, talking with Ambassador Pasetio and others about the work of alumnus and this great initiative. And I know he is looking forward to joining you uh, in the future um, and being part of the alumnus community. And so on behalf of the ambassador and our entire embassy community here in Indonesia, I would like to wish alumnus success in all your future endeavors and during the five-year tenure of this board. Um, I know that our acting deputy chief of mission, Rachel Cook, was able to meet with some of you several weeks ago. I also want to echo her congratulations on the recently finalized Articles of Association. I know that alumnus's uh, new official status has strengthened your network and your ability to collaborate with other organizations in Indonesia. And I look forward to hearing about your future plans. Of course, this is a time of enormous challenge for the Indonesia and the United States as we continue to practice resilience in battling the COVID-19 pandemic. But it's also a time of hope and excitement. As you know, the United States inaugurated our 46th president, Joe Biden, and his vice president, Kamala Harris, in January. We are very happy to see that, like the, this new administration, alumnus' current leadership with Pa Jimmy Ghani as chair and Ibu Nonoi Pernomo as vice chair of the executive board demonstrates a renewed commitment to gender balance and diversity. And just as Bob Mendry Bojanagoro talked about getting entrepreneurs uh, and a more diverse membership, I, I would um, also commend um, the, uh, the, you know, this effort towards diversity because diversity um, makes us all stronger. As we all know, being part of two nations um, that are multi-ethnic, multi-religious and, and very diverse. President Biden and our new Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, have already placed an emphasis on the growing significance of the U.S.-Indonesia strategic partnership and its, uh, its importance to the prosperity and security of our nations. And they both have pledged to further strengthen the broad range of our bilateral ties. In his discussion with Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi, uh, Secretary Blinken spoke about the opportunities for increased trade and investment between the United States and Indonesia. And they agreed on the crucial role of ASEAN centrality in the Indo-Pacific. And Secretary Blinken underscored the importance of protecting and preserving a free and open South China Sea. In short, the United States and Indonesia share many goals as we look forward to a post-pandemic world. We intend to build back strong, not only our businesses and economies, but also our partnerships, our relationships, um, our cooperation with networks and communities like yours, and the people-to-people -people ties that make it all possible. I really appreciated the comments, the keynote speech of uh, Minister Brojanagoro. I completely agree that um, entrepreneurship, research and development and innovation is the future for Indonesia. It's the future for the United States. And I think by working together, that only makes us both stronger. 
Um, the people to people ties between the United States and Indonesia and our education uh, partnerships and cooperation um, is a hugely important part of the work we do at the embassy. Um, we, we are very keen to deepen our ties with Indonesian alumni of U.S. universities. In the past, we have focused on the alumni of U.S. government programs, including the Fulbright Scholarship. But in the future, Ambassador Kim and I look forward to engaging more broadly, especially with alumnus and the broad range of talented alumni that you represent. The group here today is truly a showcase of your achievements as an organization and as individuals and as leaders in your respective spheres. We look forward to joining you on the next stage of your journey, and we look forward to having a close relationship with you and um, I hope that we can leverage our respective strengths so that we can partner together, um, promote more study and educational exchange between the United States and Indonesia. So congratulations again. Then salamat menikuti acara hani ini dan terima kasih lagi. Thank you so much.